Parenting is hard. Parenting might be one of the hardest things that you'll ever do. And then you add on a crisis or a high stress situation. Maybe you have a family health crisis that's going on. Maybe there's a natural disaster. Maybe something's happened at school or at work that's causing high stress at home. And when that kind of thing happens, it might feel like you're in a day-to-day -day battle. It takes everything just to get through the day, through every moment-by-moment -moment situation. And in these moments, a lot of times our own stories of survival, uh, they, they pop up and they cause us to, to maybe start reacting in a way that we would rather not, maybe in a way that's not natural for us. Maybe we become more anxious, more rigid. Uh, maybe we become more controlling. We want to control our children or the people around us. Or maybe we become distressed, um, depressed and disengaged. Maybe we pull away from the people that are around us and we just completely shut down. Either way, these things can cause chaos and, and differences in our home that we actually would rather not have. And so in these times of distress, the most important thing that we can do is to take care of ourselves. Self-care has to become the top priority in times of stress. And the reason for that is because we can't pour from an empty cup. So if you're pouring out and pouring out and pouring out and you're in your own survival mode, it's impossible to meet the needs of your family and of those around you if you're not taking care of yourself. And sometimes self-care feels selfish, but I'm actually here to tell you that it is the most selfless thing that you can do for the people in your life, to take care of yourself, to do the things that fill you up. And when we talk about self-care, we're not talking about distraction. Distraction can serve a temporary fix. Maybe it helps you feel better in the moment, but it doesn't actually fill you back up. So when we talk self-care, we're asking what meets your physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. Maybe that's a walk around your house. Maybe that's taking a deep breath, checking in with yourself, asking yourself, what do I need right now? Maybe it's calling a friend, asking for help, or praying, or journaling, and looking up content that gives you hope. Whatever that is, I invite you to lean into self-care in those times of stress in order to be able to do the things that you actually want to do for your family. One of the most effective forms of self-care is to actually, without judgment, suspend all judgment and just check in with yourself and pay attention to your feelings. What are you feeling right now? What's going on inside? And take a moment to just listen and to be still. Once you've done that, and only once you've done that, can you now meet the needs of the people in your life? We are their regulators. We, the adults, are their regulators. Our kids are looking to us to see how they should be responding in these times of stress. And so in order for us to be able to model staying calm and getting through times of crisis and times of distress, we need to be checking in with ourselves first. The goal is to make sure that you're doing what you need and that you're taking those moments for yourself to fill yourself up to take care of your needs so that you can effectively meet the needs of others.